We got two more packages we're going to be releasing today. Uh, one of them is the encrypted data, which will allow you to uh, encrypt your data and store it in the database. This contains a text input field uh, as well as a text field. So you can send, <coughs> send encrypted data and then read that encrypted data back from the database. And in addition to that, we're going to also release the local storage. So the local storage we're gonna actually use with the encrypted data uh, to store your private keys locally on the phone so the private keys don't go to the database. Now, one thing uh, that you could do instead of using local storage is create a, a screen that's not connected anywhere, add an input field to it, and save the, uh, the private key into that text field. But I'll, I'll explain why you don't really want to do that and why I think the local storage is a better idea. So. You, as always, you can go to pragmaflowing.com and download encrypted data or the Adalo local storage and download these, modify them yourself and use them. Otherwise, you can head over to adalopragmaflowservice.com slash install component and you'll see the local storage and the encryption toolkit. If you have any issues using these packages, feel free to head over to the issues tab in GitHub for any of the, the things that we're releasing click on new issue and we'll try to triage it as best as we can. So from there, let's see if we can get this working. So I created this sample app. We're gonna do it uh, using chat, though chat isn't the only uh, use for this tool. If you guys have uh, a school where you have teachers and cohorts and you want the teacher to be able to see all the student data, but you don't want anyone else to be able to see it or other students seeing other people's data, you can use this for teacher students, uh, administrator users, even user to user. So if I go into this chat, which I have logged in on my phone, so on my phone, I'll go to the same chat and let's see from my phone. I can try. Hi, Stephen. Hello, Stephen. How are you? So I'm not going to go into details on how to build a chat app. There's plenty of resources out there. Uh, again, chronological order, things like that. of a YouTube demo, can we talk later? Again, this is just for example purposes, so you can always make it multi-line and everything else. So we'll just leave it there. So we're sending chat messages back and forth, uh, which you know isn't, isn't that exciting in a DALO, but let's see what's happening behind the scenes. So if we go into our messages now, we can see that the actual message is encrypted. So as the administrator, I cannot actually see these messages. I know that those are messages, but you know everything here is private. And if any other user injects themselves into this conversation, they won't even be able to see this. So this is how we can, we can make encrypted data stored in the Adalo servers. To get this to work properly, there's a couple of different components that we have. Let's go back. The first one's going to be the creation of the public and private key. So we have a button here that creates the crypto key. And this is what creates the key value pair that we're able to use for encrypt encryption so that Stephen plus one and Stephen can share data between each other without Stephen plus four being able to to see that data. So let's go into how we actually built this. So on the settings page, we have a button called create crypto key. This is the create encryption key button. So the first thing is the label for the button. The seventh thing, second thing is the persistent key. So you'd want to use the persistent key if you're going to be using the local storage. And what I was saying before, why 
why I wouldn't just use a text box instead is what happens if the user logs out and then logs in as somebody else. Well, you know, once you lose your private key, it's lost forever and you won't be able to decrypt any data. So if we use this, we can actually store the private key using the magic text of the user emails private key. So if Steven logs into, you know, this, this site, he can create a, um, he can create a private key that gets stored for his email, but then he logs out and somebody else logs in. Uh, Stephen plus one logs in, and when he creates another key, it will be saved under Stephen plus one, so it doesn't overwrite Stephen's key. So the other actions, uh, fired when key pair is generated. So when you actually generate a key pair, this will give you the public and the private key used for the encryption. And how we do that is we're actually going to update the user with the public key that's returns from the components. And then oh, I deleted this. We're using persistent storage. But if you're going to use uh, an input field, you can store the private key in the input field. Uh, so actually, I'm going to delete this because I don't need it because we're using the persistent key. So that's it. We have the public and private key. Do not store the private key on the server that defeats the point of the encryption. The next component that we have is the encrypt encrypted text inputs. So with the encrypted text inputs, we need to pass it their public key. So this is the other person's public key that you want to share this message with. So this chat here, we have the current user that comes from our encrypted chat list. So the current user's public key is, is the key that we're going to use for the encryption. We also need to pass the private key. So this is where I use the local storage. So local storage, you actually have read only and read write mode. So we actually just want to read only this one. And we want to read the user emails private key. And when that loads, we're going to save it into an input field so we can use it. So typically, what you'd want to do is just make this invisible, make this invisible. Um, and now we've populated the secret with our, with our private key. And we use that to pass this component what the secret is for the encryption. And then we're also going to pass my public key, which comes from the logged in user slash public or the logged in user's public key. Once we do that, when we start typing, I've tried something different this time. Instead of using an action to capture the, the, um, the encrypted data, I have now created a role field called text. So we're going to leave that blank. But this text is going to be um, what we use, or this is going to be the encrypted text that we're going to save. So I've also placed this button. When this button is clicked, I want to create a message that comes from our encrypted text inputs and the text value of that. And then the sender is going to be me, which again, this is the chat. I don't want to go over how to build chats. Then the next thing we want to do is we just want to create or we want to empty out the text. Once you click on it, we want this to be emptied. So we just set the value of this field to empty once we're created. So once you click on the button, it will create a new message record that has the encrypted data. Then we just make a list and this list has the decrypted text. So the decrypted text is a text field. What this takes is the actual encrypted text that you want to decrypt and display. Their public key, so um, the public key that was that was passed, sorry. Yeah, their public key, the key that was passed, as well as my private key. So that way, when we have that, we'll be able to decrypt the text using this tool. And that's it. So we have the local storage component, which will save our private keys. 
we have the button to create the crypto key, which is the public and private key. We have a text input box that will create the encrypted information and make it accessible to a DALO. And we have the decrypted text box or text field that will display the encrypted text from the database. And that will be here, encrypted text input, decrypted text, create encryption key, and private local storage. So that's it. That's how we can, we can persist encrypted data in a DALO so that only the users intended to see the data will be able to see the data.